Right, so here we are, Saturday morning, uh, Wargames Holiday Centre at uh, our new venue, which is in Basingstoke at the Holiday Inn. We take up the entire conference suite, it uh, gives us loads of space for uh, the game and uh, the bits and pieces we need for the game. This is the turnaround for the Black Powder game of Borodino. Um, the lads played through till about 6 o'clock yesterday afternoon, Saturday. The French were uh, in the ascendancy, so they were looking, they had captured this village, Borodino. They got up to the redoubt, they weren't in the redoubt, but they'd got round it, so it was looking a little bit tenuous. And the they captured one of the flashes down the front here. So the object today will be to see, once the guys have changed sides, is to see how well the French do this time to determine which team wins essentially so the French were a winning draw yesterday so not to just uh, dwell on the figures for some of the guys on YouTube here that uh, wanted to see a little bit more of the figures and painted flags and whatnot. There's uh, lots of light infantry. A variety of manufacturers, so uh, there's some elite right next to some connoisseur and Hinchliff in that battalion. And behind them, there's some more connoisseur miniatures, grenadiers. And then the, uh, the Irish Legion, painted by Paul Trickett, of the Sally Oden District War Games Club. More of the Irish Legion at the back there. And the Hest Darmstadt Lifeguard. Lancers are connoisseur, They're, they are actually uh, converted, so the Lancers are all down and couched, whereas normally they'd be in an upright position. More elite on the left there, and connoisseur on the right, and a Perry command stand in the front there by Dean Whitehouse. Very nice. Looks like Carabinia Regiment, first and second regiments. And we come down third cause down here on the French right again with its 25th division of the Württembergers. French divisions and um, there's some Wurttemberg ship, Jaegers of Ferd in there. In fact, Jaegers of Ferd weren't actually at Borodino, but uh, they still look nice. Why not? And then, of course, we've got the Russians, Musketeers, some Grenadier battalions in there. I've not done too many combined battalions. I've got uh, a lot of my grenadiers are actually in the mixed in battalion. Some Connoisseur Dragoons, a Russian Cuirassier, so Hinchliffe, Uhlans. to the fleshes here. So as I said yesterday, the French managed to capture one of these and we'll see how they do today. The K-pop denotes um, that the unit's fired um, because Steve Butler has organised the, the game. He's actually um, you know, put down that if we fire before moving, then they don't move unless of course they're in combat. Majority of the flags that aren't hand painted are by GMB. And they were reasonably old yesterday, so I'm still looking good under these conditions. That's the front of the redoubt. Mind that chair mark. That's the great redoubt there. 
from the Borodino village, this time from the French side. <coughs> More front rank miniatures. So I've got quite a few front rank battalions. 30 something, I believe. Uh, they're very nice figures. Um, I mean, as you will know, you'll, know, you'll look at the, the website. <clears throat> now part of the Gripping Beast company, still operating in their own right as front rank miniatures. My front rank Russians were all painted by reinforcements by post uh, that are based in Bangladesh. Excellent paintwork, I have to say, an excellent paint. And service. Neil Keneally, that runs the place, has got a team operating there that really do know their uniforms. Um, there's constant inter interaction to make sure you get what you want. But I'll wait till the lads come back. They should be back from breakfast soon. What time is it? It's about 20 to 9 now, so there'll be a lot in a moment. That's it for now. I will catch up with you later today, hopefully.